What is going on YouTube? It's Italiano and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create um, the video I posted up last night uh, titled Beautiful and what it was is was a really nice color correction. It was uh, an effect called Misfire Flicker and Twixter and this was all done in Adobe After Effects. I will also be showing you my render settings and my composition settings but first I'm going to show you the video in case you didn't see it. Alright, it's a little laggy, sorry about that, it's because I'm recording with Camtasia, and Camtasia is so annoying to record with, but uh, yeah, whatever. Anyways, we're going to want to go to Adobe After Effects, and we're going to want to create a new composition. Video is originally like 14 seconds, but I'm going to make the timeline 19 seconds, just in case the Twixter overlaps. Oh my god, my bad, uh, I just choked on something. But um, anyways, you guys want to copy these down. Preset should be custom. Um, within height, 1280 by 720. Uncheck lock aspect ratio, pixel aspect ratio, square pixels. Frame rate is 59.94 frames per second. If you use 29, it's not going to work because Twixer will look all distorted and ugly. And yeah, it will just get all screwed up and you do not want that. But um, yeah. So you guys can pause the screen if you want or whatever and copy these down. Otherwise, let's hit OK. Um, so yeah, let's import our clip. Um, desktop. Um, 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 uh, this one, yep, this one. And you're going to want to drag it onto this. I already rendered this out um, in Vegas. I fixed the border and I disabled resampled it. So the quality is pretty nice. But we're going to want to hit this right here. I want to go to layer and frame blending and hit pixel motion. And then we are going to want to go to Twixter. By the way, guys, Twixter and Magic Bolt Looks are both external plugins for the program. So you're going to need to download those. They don't come with the program. You can get them, you can pay for them, or you can get them other ways. And you can go on YouTube for that. I don't need to give you guys a tutorial because there's way too many of them already up. I'm going to hit Twixer 4.5. And uh, the only thing you need to change in this tab is the frame rate. Make sure it's at 59.94. It has to match the frame rate of your video and of the composition. So I want to do this. Oh my god, so laggy. I hate Camtasia. Anyways, close that. I want to go here. I'm going to go to Effects. Twixter and output control and we are going to want to find where we want to start this all up um, so mine starts around here somewhere oh my god I'm sorry guys for the slowness I swear to god I hate this program it's so stupid Alright, so I'm going to want to zoom in a little. Alright, perfect. Let's find where that starts. And I'm going to be twixtering it when I do the YY in the air. Yeah, like right around here-ish. Let's do where it starts though. Alright, we'll do like... We'll start like right there. That's fine. I don't mind that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna want to keep. We're gonna actually want to go back one, and we're going to want to. Don't um, uh, show this mess again. Sorry, that happens every time I record a commentary. Anyways, you want to go back one frame. I already did that. Want to keyframe the rate or the speed at a hundred. Going to want to go forward a frame. I'm going to keyframe the speed at 3. You can do anything from 1 to 5, guys, but 3 and 2 are the best. Um, they look the best, at least, in my opinion. And before we do anything, we're going to want to go to Time and Enable Timer Mapping. 
because the time is going to be shortened or decreased um, because of Twixter. So you're not going to get the full video, but now that you did that, you get the full video. Now let's find where we want to stop this at. Let's wait till the bullet or the gun is already in the air. Or I'm sorry, why wide? Wow, what the hell? I hate laptops. I'm trying to get a new computer, guys. That'll be freaking amazing. Um. All right, we can stop it around here. Yeah, that's fine. So you want to change the speed. We're gonna keep it at three, but it's not gonna let you do a keyframe. So let's hit a hundred or make it a hundred, and then go back to three. And you got your keyframe. So right from here to here is all twixtered. Okay, I'm gonna go forward one frame. And I think it just did that. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it did. Um, want to make the speed 100. So then we have our normal speed again. All right, cool. So now we're going to apply some color correction. So I want to go to Effect, go to Magic Bolt Looks, go to Looks, go to Edit, and we are going to open a look. I'm not going to use the one from yesterday. I'm going to use this one, which is just gorgeous I love this freaking look look at that that's amazing that is really freaking awesome oh my gosh oh, it's a little extreme like I would never use that in an edit but seriously that just looks amazing so now we're gonna apply flicker effect um, so let's actually shoot um, yeah let's find those keyframes God, this computer is so gay. Excuse my raging, guys. This is not very fun to do when you're recording because Camtasia makes everything so damn slow. But we're going to want to go... Alright, sweet. So, we're going to want to go to Effect. And, okay, Effect. Magic Bolt's Misfire, and you're going to want to go to Flicker. And you can ignore this. It's stupid and it's just annoying. I'm gonna hit this magic bolts flicker, and you're gonna want to match the keyframes from your Twixter. Okay, so this first one should be zero, and this one should be zero as well. Frequency and flicker amount should be zero. And then you're gonna want to go forward one frame, and you should keyframe frequency should be 50%. I've experimented with these a lot and flicker mount should be 10. Hold on one second. I'm doing something! Sorry about that. Um, okay. So, I want to zoom out. And we are going to go back just to get our little reference point of where the Twixter one is. Okay. Twixter ones are right over here. So we're going to want to zoom in completely. Um, Alright, cool. And now we could do that. Alright, and now we're going to want to keyframe again. So I'll make this zero and then switch it back to 50 very glitchy sometimes make this zero and then you can also switch that back to 10 and then you have your keyframes and then you want to go forward one keyframe and you're gonna want to set everything to zero and that is basically that guys so let's zoom out a little so from me in this little middle between these um, two keyframes is all Twixter and Flickr, and it's going to look very nice. I guarantee you guys that. I think this one will look even nicer than my last one just because of the color correction. I mean, that is just freaking amazing. It just looks really good. Um, but yeah, I will now show you guys my render settings. So I want to go to Composition. I want to go to Add to Render Queue. Render settings, make sure every this is at best and make sure this is at full and the size should be twelve eighty by seven twenty. You shouldn't have to change anything in this tab. Um output mo module. 
you're going to want to change the format make it a quick time movie go to format options make sure the compression type is h.264 um, frames per second should be 59.94 or match up your video and quality must be best don't mess with these um, yeah that's that uh, okay uh, and you wanna check the audio output because you want to make sure that's still there when you render everything. But these are the best possible possible render settings for Adobe After Effects if you're doing like COD video or whatever you're doing. And output should be to wherever you want to save it to. Um, I'll save mine to my desktop. Make it uh, commentary. Uh, AAE. Whatever, I don't I don't know. Um, but yeah. That's basically it guys. Um so I'm going to render this out and I'll post it at the end of the video so you guys can see it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh yeah, peace out. Thank you.